My name is Paris Dorn. I was a former student of Cisco College nursing program and I am now a current instructor of Cisco College. In my career as a nurse, I have been given many opportunities um, to see different fields, to work in different fields, um, because it's nursing is a whole. You're not just pinned down to one specific area. Um, I started out in geriatrics when I graduated LVN school. For me, that was just how my schedule worked. You're not limited to geriatrics. You could work as an LVN in the hospital. Um, I know a lot of people think you can only get your LVN and be in nursing homes. It's not true. Um, I'm a product of that. I'm very aware that's not true. Um, and then I did some PRN work. Um, so just as needed through some doctor's offices with my LVN. Um, it fit my school schedule better being in the RN program. Um, and then once I got my RN, I applied to the hospital here, Hendrick Medical Center. Um, I applied to the NICU. I did receive that job. So I went from one end of the spectrum to the other, um, from life beginning to life ending, essentially. Um, working with geriatric and babies, very preterm babies, are totally two different things, but almost similar in the way they are. I've been in the NICU for almost two years now. I work in the NICU on the weekends um, because nursing allows you to work 12 hour shifts if you want, um, which is nice. So you don't have to work Monday through Friday if you don't want to, um, you have a lot of options. And along with that, it's allowed me to open a door up into teaching. Um, once I got my bachelor's, Cisco College reached out and asked me if I wanted to come on and be a part of the team um, and help out with third semester mother baby in NICU um, in psychiatric. Since I did have that background for about a year at the time, um, I felt comfortable in what I knew from working in the field. Um, and even at one year, you're not considered an experienced nurse, but you just learn so much that it's there, you know it. I came here in Cisco to work as a nursing instructor in fall of 21. And I would have not have seen myself here. I didn't think bachelors would open up a door, like in getting my bachelors through Texas Tech would open up a door to teaching. That's not where I had planned on going with it at all. So when they asked me to come here, I was a little shocked, but I felt excited. I was very ready um, because being a student and going through two programs at Cisco College and then being asked to come teach at Cisco College and help out with some lab, I was very prepared and knew what they expected of students. Um, I think that's really the main reason why I enjoy being here because I am a product of Cisco College. I feel like I'm almost proof to the students that feel like, oh, it's, I can't make it today. Like I just, it's never ending. Nursing's so hard. Am I gonna make it through? Can I pass the NCLEX? Um, all the negative stuff, it's almost like you can turn around and pat them on the back and be like, hey, it's okay. Like I did it, you, you can do it. Something I would tell students to expect coming in the nursing program is definitely be prepared for a lot of responsibility. Um, you're being trained to care for people's lives in your hands. So if just put yourself in the shoes of, would I want this person taking care of my family? And that's really how you should look at your students next to you, your instructors, everybody. Um, so don't cheat yourself when you come here. Um, know the work, study. It's long hours, it's a lot of studying, but there's a reason for it. And so I really think it goes back to just people's lives are in your hands. And so we need to produce good nurses.